Hello everyone. Today we're looking at a little Tesla coil. I built one of these when I was a teenager, high school, and I remember uh, going to a science fair with with uh, Tesla coil and some other things I was doing at the time. But this, instead of using a neon sign transformer, which is quite dangerous, and a spark gap, <clears throat> instead we're driving the primary with a uh, the primary coil with just a simple blocking oscillator very simple here's the circuit you can look up uh, Slayer circuit Stifler Gary Bluer um, and others good work gentlemen I'm looking at the uh, signals input blue with an oscilloscope I have a little antenna to look at the uh, output signal and the frequency here is right about 665 kilohertz quite steady and the uh, let's see what can I tell you about this blocking oscillator I've done a lot, number of these through the years and here's a little one here but in this case we're using the blocking oscillator to drive the test coil what a good idea uh, we're drawing about uh, half an amp 30 volts at 17 milliamps plus or minus so we're drawing about half an amp and that's just uh, running there's really no power draw here that I can see it's it's just uh, driving the this bias voltage and 30 volts uh, running the primary coil let's look what happens when I bring the antenna closer this is another of Tesla's uh, ideas this is a pancake coil by filer wound and as I bring it closer the uh, I've noticed this uh, not much change let's look at the um, oscilloscope there you see that Bring it closer. There is a change. Certainly pick up more, but the it's interesting. I have to figure that out. But the input doesn't change much as I bring this closer and further. It just doesn't uh, change very much at all. Okay, so um, that's fun. Now let's light up a little uh, compact fluorescent light watching if we can the power draw as we light this up I try not to touch that it's a little tricky and with my left hand here <laughs> you can see it draws a little more power especially when the wire touches so from 17 to if I don't touch uh, 19 you see that oh. So it's, uh, see what I'm looking at here is I'm going to be looking at how much output power is um, <clears throat> drawn compared with the input. And um, it's not much change there to get that lighting up. So we'll, we'll look at that. We'll make some measurements and, and we'll figure out what the output power is. I'd like to get the, uh, the, the minimum operating power down. I can change the circuit somewhat from uh, this simple design and, and cut down I think even further actually this is running at very low power compared to some that I've seen half a watt and uh, lights up the fluorescent bulb very well if I do this hold it in there right which I'm not doing real well but hey there you go <laughs> you can see that light up okay happy experimenting and we'll try to measure power here energy as we go along Thanks. Cheers.